already in a mess. We've only been up in five minutes. Office, now. Hmm, well, I think we all know who wears the trousers in that relationship. Do you have to speak to me like that in front of the oh, staff? Oh, give it a rest, Nick. I said I'm sorry. That was for Peter's benefit, not mine. I meant it. <laughs> Whatever. How was he after I left? Well, aside from thinking I'm a mug, he didn't suspect anything, if that's what you're getting at. What'd you tell him? The same thing I'm telling you. It won't happen again. <laughs> see, there you go. Making all the decisions. Nick, this isn't funny. I need you to see sense. The joinery has a future. We don't. I love my business, but I love you more. <sighs> if you can't handle that, that's your problem. I told her. There's no doubt about it, son. You pull a fair paint in here, so you do. Hey, listen. What's the crack with your mother? She got a fella on the gore, what? Beat around the bush, why don't you? Subtle as a sledgehammer. I'm curious as all, aren't you? You know what I mean? I mean, can a man take an interest in his loved ones? The last time you took an interest, you ended up knocking Vern out. Ah, sure, your man had it coming to him, so he did. Oh, look, I'm on your side. Oh, well, you could have fooled me. No, all I'm saying is my mum's business is her business. That's it, end of story. Well, so much for the bond between the father and the son. I mean, I bet your girls share everything with you, eh? Oh, yes. Big on sharing. Can't get enough of it. Uh-huh. Giving you some grief, are they? No oh, more than normal. Are you sure? You're looking a bit down, so you are. No, I'm just a bit cut up over Jack, that's all. I was one in a million, Jacko. A man of rare wit and wisdom. And an old-fashioned chancer to be. Is he proud to hear you say that? Well, not as proud as I am to have known him. Bad day? I can't handle. Can I get you anything, Leanne? Yeah, I'll have a bottle of Shiraz, two glasses. I need a drink. I'm gonna call it a night if that's alright by you, Nick. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna like this play. Don't worry, boss. I still love you. Hello again. Oh, hi. I thought you had some paperwork to finish. Listen, Leanne's having a crisis, isn't she? What can I do? I'll make it up to you. Oh, whatever. So when does he get home? In a few days, they reckon. They're taking him to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Birmingham. Also, not too far, then. Knowing you, uh, I won't be surprised if you're on a plane to Afghanistan now. <laughs> well, the thought did cross my mind. You would, of course, need to obtain a visa before entering the country. Was so I believe. I knew that. I wonder, and it, it may be impossible to answer, but how do you see the next few months unfolding? I don't know, really. Play it by ear. I, I only ask because I, I want to assure you, Anna, that any time off you require, but all absences will be treated on a strictly full pay basis. Well, I don't be daft. You're not made of money. I insist. Considering the magnitude of Gary's sacrifice, it, it's the least we can do. Thanks, mate. That, that means a lot. I was so proud of him, you know, the way that he's turned his life around and that. If anything had happened to him, I'd oh, None of that. You're meant to be comforting me, remember? Sorry, it's just you see all these images on telly and that. I promise you this. Don't you ever say that. You care. That means everything to us. I just hope all the other families have got friends like you. Gary wasn't the only one injured. No. Three killed. Oh, Including his best mate, Quinny. We've not long got off the phone to his mum. It is at times such as this I profoundly wish that I had a belief in the power of prayer. <laughs> Me too. Only I don't reckon God's listening in Afghanistan. Not to the likes of us, anyhow. So, how are the wedding plans? Don't even go there. Oh, no, I'm fine, thanks. Suit yourself, more for me. I'll take it your father's not pulling his weight, then. <sighs> Let's just say I'm not exactly his number one priority right now, but if my name were Carl... Who's Carl? Mystery man. I'm not with you. Oh, they met at a support group a couple of months back. Peter's become like his personal life coach or something. Oh. Well, that sounds positive. <laughs> or not? Oh, I don't know. It just feels like Carl's the only one he has any time for at the moment. He only has to pick up the phone and Peter's out the door. For anybody else, I'd be waiting for the fishing trip. <laughs> you do realise you're sounding jealous. Yeah, well, maybe I am. <sighs> do 
know right now nothing would surprise me about myself. Can we get out of here? Can we go back to the flat? He's doing me head in. OK, well, I'll pay for the wax. On the house. Can I some perks, then? Take five, everyone. Sophie, Shan, this is a surprise. Why? It's Monday night practice. Where else would we be? We are still part of the choir. Unless you know something we don't. Um, why don't we take this into the study room? Whatever you've got to say, you can say it here, because we've got nothing to hide. Clearly. Yeah. got a feeling we're freaking him out. Please, I'm not seeking a confrontation here. No, but you'd rather we weren't lesbians, Shan. right? Whatever you think you are. Come again? Whatever we think we are? I didn't mean that. Well, I'll tell you something we ain't, OK? We're not an abomination. We're not some narrow-minded, homophobic bigot. That's enough. This is a church, not some soapbox for your politically correct shout-outs. What happened to everyone having their voice? Our voices are given to us so that we may worship God, not ourselves. But please, you must understand. Our belief and faith is built upon a foundation of shared values. Without unity of purpose, without harmony, we're lost. So in other words, you want us to all be the same? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but we can't live by your rule. And you know what? You know what's sad about all this? You talk about God speaking to you. You only hear what you want to hear. You're the loser in all this, not us. She can make time for Leanne, can't she? But when it comes to me, it's like I'm invisible or something. Maybe it's just Carolyn's style of management. Throwing you in the deep end. You know, sink or swim. Yeah, well, that's fine, but some training floats would be nice. What? Sorry, I'm just picturing you in a bikini. Oh, Kieran, it's not Funny. Jonas is trying to push me around. So push her back. You're a very smart and beautiful girl. There's nothing you can't achieve if you put your mind to it. That's very sweet. It's the truth. I wouldn't be so crazy about you if it wasn't. How is it that you always know the right things to say? Hey, it's my job. <laughs> um, <clears throat> are you still picturing me in that bikini? Might be. Mm, hold that thought then. Women like us are designed to be on our own. It's not in our makeup. Actually, I am quite enjoying being single. Oh, come off it. I am. Right, so you're telling me that there's not even anyone on the horizon. I knew it. Who is he? No one you know. Hmm. Any money on it, he's married. No. Spoken for them. Well, I'm not getting into this with you. You see, that's another thing about us. We can never do it easy, can we? Always has to be flipping tightrope every time. As for the good guys, we'll forget them. Uh, Trevor was a good guy. Yeah, and you binned him. No pun intended. Nah. We like it messy. Messy, messy, messy. Uh, I hate to interrupt you when you're on a roll, love, but I can't help noticing you keep saying the word we. That's something happened with Peter. No. Oh, I've just had one too many of these. Just ignore me. We're fine. Everything's fine. Then why don't I believe you? It's not Peter. Then what's going on? Hey, look, whatever it is, you can tell me. It's for a problem at work. <sighs> OK, now we're getting somewhere. I should never have took the job on. I'm sorry, Della. I don't understand. I thought you were loving it there. I am. 